uh, are solid, effective, capable people. That is Mitt Romney, who once called Donald Trump a phony and a fraud. Aaron Katursky is following the bouncing ball. That is the Trump transition uh, situation. Good morning, Aaron Katursky. Oh, good morning. He, it was a two-hour dinner with Mitt Romney, who did emerge uh, abandoning that criticism of Donald Trump during the primaries and, and saying that uh, he effectively took up the Trump talking points, didn't he, McGraw, in saying that he now has a, a, an agenda that's inclusive for all Americans. We don't know whether there was any formal offer. The president-elect is still said to be considering Rudy Giuliani and Bob Corker and General John Kelly, all three of whom he's scheduled to meet with either today or in the coming days before he makes his choice. And so uh, Donald, uh, did uh, Mitt Romney, um, s h how did he answer the question, uh, hey, you called this guy a phony and a fraud just months ago, d how, how can you be his secretary of state? Well, he didn't really answer the question, did he? I mean, it, it, what, what was said in the primaries was said in the primaries, and now uh, Mitt Romney is, is talking much differently about the president-elect and praising some of the choices that he has made so far, and those choices include most recently Wilbur Ross, a, an entrepreneur, 79 years old, for Commerce Secretary, and Steve Mnuchin, who ran his financial operation during the campaign, a, a Goldman Sachs alum and a hedge fund guy, a movie financier to be Treasury Secretary. And it continues a string of very wealthy individuals to, to be uh, among those to carry the, the Trump brand of, of populism. He chose Betsy DeVos, a major Republican donor from Michigan, uh, and a, and a uh, uh, who's the, 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 the uh, wife of the uh, heir to the to a, to a big fortune. Uh, she's going to be the, the uh, in, in the cabinet as education secretary. Uh, he has also uh, you know tapped the owner of the Chicago Cubs, Todd Ricketts, a Republican mega donor, to be an undersecretary at Commerce. A and so he's surrounding himself with, it seems, like-minded people and, and uh, people who come from backgrounds similar to his. And have absolutely no government experience, which some people think is great, but other people are ringing the alarm saying that's not necessarily good but in a couple of key policy areas he does bring uh some some washington insight uh, namely in in health care it was a campaign promise to uh repeal and replace obamacare there was no more vociferous critic than representative tom price of georgia and he actually was one of the few critics who actually drafted legislation to repeal obamacare that could become a, a blueprint perhaps uh going forward it would uh, he would end the expansion of Medicare. He would also try to make health care uh, a little less expensive for the young and healthy and more expensive for the sick and old. And, and potentially uh, that could uh, you know alarm Democrats who've already said that putting him in charge of the, uh, the health department is like you know the fox guarding the hen house. So what's this tweet of this morning that he uh, sent out Don, uh, president elect Donald Trump on uh, he's is he going to set aside his business interests? It appears that he is going to to uh, remove himself from the operation of his business. We we don't know what the arrangement will be, but Donald Trump in a series of tweets said that he would announce on December 15th with his children that he would be stepping away because the presidency is more important. He said that he would devote himself full-time to making America great again, and legal documents are being crafted now uh, in order to make all this happen. He says he was not mandated to do this under the law, but he feels it is visually important as president to in no way have a conflict of interest. And um, uh, that is true, right? There are, there are no laws that says he has to step away from his business. There are no laws necessarily, but there are certainly ethical questions, and uh, we don't know how he is actually going to answer them because without a blind trust ethical violations would be rather difficult to police the white house counsel could give him advice the justice department could guide him on ethics matters but really the only check would be the u.s congress and it seems unlikely a republican controlled congress would take on trump over you know potential conflicts aaron katursky i got about a minute left also news about this carrier plant in indianapolis they're short on specifics but they're long on um, praising themselves for saving the manufacturing company? 
so often uh, Carrier was brought up by, the, uh, by, by, by Donald Trump on the campaign uh, as an example of American jobs being shipped overseas. Carrier, 1,400 jobs from Indiana to Mexico. He said uh, on Thanksgiving that he was working on a deal to, to save some of those jobs. And now Carrier said it would keep about 1,000 jobs in the state after reaching a deal with President-elect Trump. We don't know what the deal was, what the terms were, what incentives may have been offered, or whether uh, it covers all the jobs that Carrier had threatened to move. But apparently uh, the president-elect will be going to Indiana tomorrow uh, in order to uh, make a formal announcement. Yeah, lots of questions still remain on that. Eric Katursky, great job. Thanks for checking in. Have a good day. Thanks, McGraw. 757, Big 550, KTRS.